Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Leonard Bad Boy Garcia. Now he said he had good jiu-jitsu and he proved it there. All right, and I'm here with the winner, Leonard Garcia. The first time we saw him in the UFC, you took it on short notice. You put on a great fight with Roger Huerta. How much better is it to get time to prepare, time to train, and get a nice victory in the UFC? Well, this one was going to be a good one for me because uh, I dedicated to a couple of my partners that had lost their fights. And uh, it feels great to train, man, you know, and be ready. But uh, I still felt like I had a bad show, and he surprised me by taking me down. I thought we were going to do a little stand-up fighting, but... I guess he's a little afraid of that, you know? Well, it definitely wasn't a bad showing. Take a look at the big screen and talk us through the action. This is the end of the fight here. What well, you see here, as soon as I hit him, he rolls over. He can't take no more shots, you know? I, you know, I'm hitting pretty hard these days, so uh, I'm just kidding, man. And then he gives up his back. He made a crucial mistake. He grabbed my wrist from the, uh, from the wrong angle, and I was able to just slip it right in. I felt it getting tighter and tighter and tighter. I just told him, I was like, man, you better, mine as well tap. And he was like, okay. <laughs> well, all right, Leonard. Congratulations on your first victory in the UFC. Leonard Garcia, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, the 27-year-old always has a big smile on his face as he reigns supreme here tonight, defeating Alan Baruby by rear naked choke in the very first round. And Keith Hughes scores the fight 49-46 to the winner by unanimous decision, Leonard Bad Boy Garcia! I mean, what a comeback fight for Leonard Garcia. He went out there, looked phenomenal. Uh, put any rumors to rest about his chin not being there anymore. Looked phenomenal. Uh, could be happy for the guy. What, what a great fight for both guys. If you look at the math, Two of the three Mississippi assigned judges seeing it five rounds to nil, 50-45 in favor of Leonard Garcia. Keith Hughes seeing it four rounds to one, 49-46 in favor of Leonard Garcia. Elmore, that's a very strong performance in defeat. He took some big shots, he continued to throw, was never dropped. Here's just a replay. This kind of sums it up right here when you just watch what these guys are doing. Nothing but hard punches being landed. Uh, nobody has anything to be embarrassed about this fight. Great fight. In our main event of the evening, the winner by way of extremely hard fought and unanimous decision, Leonard Garcia defeats Joe Elmore. Here is Brian Sosha in the ring. What a fight. What a fight. I don't mind telling you, I slipped on some of the blood on the canvas when I got in the ring. It's exactly what we expected. What a fight. So you essentially fought a mirror image of yourself. We've been saying that. Not many people always get to do that. What did you learn fighting a mirror image of yourself? I learned that uh, I still got a lot left in the tank. And uh, I'm still a legend. I still did everything I said I was going to do. But fighting a guy like Joe was something else. I learned a lot about myself, and I learned a lot about Joe. Um, he told me I had an injured left shoulder, and uh, he still took the fight. I've taken fights with a broken jaw before in the UFC, so uh, I completely understand where he's coming from. I got all the respect in the world for him, and I don't take anything from him. But he did catch me with that right hand a lot, and I still felt great, so to me, it was a great fight. I got a lot of respect for him. And, uh, man, I got an important decision to make, and it's a hard one. Um, when I signed with the BKFC, I signed a three-fight deal. And uh, I made a deal with my wife. I made a deal with my job. And I made a deal with God. And uh, I said I was going to be three and done. But my deal with God was to be the number one guy when I left. That's why I took the fight against Joe Elmore, because he's the number one guy. I had just came off a knockout, so it didn't make sense, but I wanted to prove to the world 
that I was the number one fighter at 165 before I retired. So Dave, Dave Feldman, I tell you this with a very heavy, heavy heart, sir. I love you. I want to, I love you. And I wanted to continue this career, but man, I can't go against God. I hope I gave you everything that I wanted. And I'm sorry that this one wasn't for the belt. I told you I wanted to be the champion, but rank number one in the world at 165 will do it, baby. I love you, my wife. I was gonna give you the title. I dedicate this medal to you. My, uh, my, uh, uh, happy birthday to my niece, Anaya. Happy birthday to, uh, who else is here to have a birthday? Who? Miss Lori, my cousin Daniel Aguirre, who's out in the audience. I love all you guys in bare knuckle. Thank you guys for this amazing memory. And I hope you guys always remember me. And I hope you'll still call me a legend forever. And Dave, if you want to give me a fight of the night bonus, we'll take it. Hey, thank you so much for this amazing fight, ladies and gentlemen. Leonard Garcia, legendary career. One more. Thank you, Harvest Christian Fellowship. Thank you, uh, uh, Brad, for the prayers. Um, thank you, Automation X. Anybody who needs oil filled automation, come see me on Automation X, because that's where I'll be. Thank you so much, Mr. Leonard Garcia. A deep respect for Joe Elmore. I'd like to bring Joe in here, too. One more. Bahati Bliss, JC and Jaden. All of you guys, I love y'all. Joe, what a fantastic fight. Two warriors embracing after every single round.